welcome. You know how grateful I am that you're here. I enjoy spending time connecting with you. Of course, many of you I don't know, but that we're like-minded people is so cool. So I'm really grateful. Thank you for watching. There are no obligations whatsoever. I do not take donations, personal readings here at this time whatsoever, as it is my intention just to support this community that loves energy exchange, connecting with each other, sharing not only common sense, but the mysteries of ancestral languages, symbols, planetary phases and astrology, and symbolic yet intuitive messages that are for the general collective watching. I want to reiterate, this is a general read. I am in no way a psychic medium. I'm an intuitive reader, just sharing what I hope is supportive. So please keep that in mind. So we'll go through setting up a variety of different tarot and oracle cards today on this, uh, this is a September 26th in the United States. I hope everything is well where you are. Whenever you're watching, this is a great time to connect. If it doesn't resonate with you, come back again. There are always messages. Sometimes we just feel like, oh, that already happened. That can be common. Or sometimes we're stuck and not open to the energy and the messages. So timing is everything in the world and in the subconscious. You have to be ready for it. And I feel like that's something I want to share with you. So, uh, how about we set the tone today, speaking of ancestral languages, with runes. These are thousands of years old. Germanic origin, Nordic origin. They are symbols that were carved into wood, stone, etc. Uh, you know, that type of thing. Um, two generally speak well together. As you can see here, these are carved into wood. And I will look into this. However, I did forget something very important to me and to the channel. And in my life is this bell. And one day, as we grow the community and share our stories and thoughts and what's special to you and what traditions you like to keep, some are every day, some are holidays, right? This is an everyday thing for me. I connect a lot with vibration and sound and music. Uh, so this bell helps me do that. It's sometimes loud, please be aware of that and you might want to lower the volume or just just bear with me one minute I would like to completely cleanse this before we begin talking I, I have previously done it but I feel the need to do it now so thank you for sticking with me
that's wonderful. I like that, that really helps. Okay, we are off to a wonderful start. Back to our ancestral language, one thing I would like to tell you, um, there are references to the days of the week in this language as well. And coming to you on a Sunday, <clears throat> that is Sol. Sunday is Sol, goddess of the sun. The sun is out where I am. I hope you are experiencing a beautiful day as well. I am studying these messages, this ancestral language, quite quickly, real quick for you. Quickly, quick, quick, quick. And I have the information. So, and it is beautiful. Great way to end and begin the week's ending. Quite a busy, interesting week. Everything seemed to go into retrograde. I had issues. Minor, but you know, it is the cycle of life where we have these ups and downs, including the internet going out when you're trying to do everything online. Now, <clears throat> this is a rune that everybody can enjoy, I think and find just a lot of inspiration from. This is the rune of sexual energy, power of creation. Any of you who are pregnant or wanting to be pregnant, it does speak to you, but also in general, wonderful passion, love, new directions, growth, Caring in home. In astrology, it represents the new moon. We're getting closer to that time. It's, that will be about October 6th. It's a time to get passionate about a person, an idea, or a project. This is a good time to begin something new. Then, oh, and this represents the letter NG, and I believe it's in the Guats. If any of you are more adept at saying the language of runes, please comment, give me a like, and then correct me. I'm good with that. This that came in with it is the rune of the wild oxen, the power of strength. It also represents fertility. Any of you watching who are hoping for expansion in life and home and in fertility, this is a beautiful message for you. Oh, this is uh, the first one spoke to fire energy and this speaks to earth energy. So fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius and here earth truly this represents Taurus and the Hierophant other earth signs include Virgo and Capricorn both both together speak to fertility I know that sounds general but to some of you, it's very specific. If there are issues with fertility, we can see what's coming, but please, uh, a message that you can take with this is it's a time to find spiritual balance in your life and use determination and skills to move forward. Fertility is a beautiful thing. It's not always the easiest thing. And sometimes there are a lot of ups and downs in the life cycle of trying to have children. So remember that this is the, the power of strength. <clears throat> 
healing is a key word. Freedom, courage, determination, action, energy, and knowledge. If you want to get pregnant, the sexual energy is there. That's a very straightforward message. I'll be sure to timestamp these as they come in because this is general. So if your if fertility is not a topic for you, stick with me as we will move on and pull more cards to row. And then I'll get to Oracle. And in the end, we will do some healing Oracle cards and leave you feeling very optimistic. So give me a moment. Let's remember the rune of sexual energy. And here we have rune of of uh, all I can think of is passion and healing when I see those two. So that's what I'm going to say. Passion and healing. Passion and healing. Passion and healing creates growth. Passion and healing helps. If you've lost a baby, I don't like to say that out loud very much. I am in tune with that. If any of you having issues in that way, you've picked the right person to speak to. So we have some interesting cards coming in. Generally, remember this is a general reading. Page of Wands, New Beginnings, Fire Energy. We'll get more into it. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Judgment card, Major Arcana card, the number 20. A very angelic, divinely guided card. I am going to try to do a nine card spread with these today. So let's try to make room. Ah, a lot of wand energy. In comes some message, I feel. it's This is a victorious card. This is the Six of Wands. So the Page of Wands, Judgment, the situation is fated, divine. Strong messages of fertility. I, I, I'm not going to repeat that. Action passion, growth, new directions, and determination. For those of you who relate to this as a, uh, a time to begin, not only a new life, but a new project, a new career, that type of thing, the energy in this first row is a very positive movement, the fire energy spoke of this destined divine message. We're celebrating karma, victory, healing again. When you see knights come in, pages in knights, let me explain those to you a little bit more. Those of you watching, if you understand this already, then you see this progression and good news coming in. Pages of wands are very inspirational. An exciting message. Interesting. Then the Six of Wands is also representative, really, of that type of feeling. New messages, this horse coming in, not in battle, but in celebration. And I must remind you, there's the wreath of hope represented there. 
The Judgment is a Major Arcana card. As I mentioned, it is the number 20 in Tarot. And it also speaks to a renewal and outcome. A question you can ask yourself, what is my calling? All right, let's pull the rest of the cards for this spread. Please continue watching, sticking with me. I'm really grateful. A like would be awesome. So we do see a tower moment. Uh, another major arcana card. Decisions, changes, renewal, messages. All right, the second row seems to represent the challenges coming in. Here's the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> A lot of fire energy for those of you watching. Obviously, you're watching. For those of you who relate to this, fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. But it's also uh, action, forward movement, and here you see where this person has come through this change. Still being very introspective about it. I do think that these are working together, that there's news coming in, it's divinely meant, it's karmic. The middle has been obviously a little bit more present moment feeling difficult is a word that comes to mind for you guys watching. Uh, but let's see if this past, present, future outcome, what are we talking about here? Okay, well, we have the completion the Ten of Swords. Completion. That's fine. We're good with that. Right? And even though it does not look like this gentleman or person, human, is enjoying the accomplishment, Ten does speak to that. A question that you can ask yourself when you see the Ten of Swords and if it feels unnerving to you, just think of it as what do I need to let go of to, you know, are you feeling so stuck that you're not letting in the messages? Because they're here. They came in. They are creating a change for you, but you're battling it. But there is this 9, 10 progression. I hope you feel the energy starting to move forward out of whatever happened. This could be positive changes, negative changes. But divinely, instinctively, it could be rocking your world. But you have the strength to get through it. Please, again, remember this is a general message. Do comment and let me know how you're doing. You have two major arcana cards, so already I know this has been a significant change. And my goal here is to support you. I'm not an expert. It's not to replace that. But... Here we have more important cards coming in. So I just want to be here to help. We have the moon. More progression forward. Moody. Emotional. Representing some of the endings and beginnings. We're going to talk more about that. Seven of cups. More emotion. Seven is a very dreamy card uh, number representing dreams and discovery but in this sense 
still a little stuck, not sure which which cup the magic ball is under. And in comes the Queen of Pentacles. Introspective, more balanced, more calm, more decisive. Pentacles, the wealth, the health of a situation can represent wealth. Pentacles represent time. Queens are very intellectual. And as you can see, we have moved through the trauma and indecisiveness to a better time pretty quickly for those of you who are uh, concerned about time i would say that presently you have already moved through this trauma and we are going to pull another row to see what the outcome is. But no, no matter which way we look at this, there is a progression. I'm sorry for the difficult, faded, divine things that happened, but you do have the strength, the intellect, the introspective nature to get through this. <clears throat> a, quest, a few questions you might consider when you see these cards because they're general. What is going to help me heal right now? For some of you, there's an overall overwhelming message of needing healing and protection and passion. Um, other questions you can ask yourself, for example, the Seven of Cups, when you see this card, what is my best option? So we did talk about fertility, new beginnings, that could be passion for an idea, person, or project. So you have choices to make about that. You may have been thrown into this situation. Maybe you got pregnant unexpectedly and it's, or there's been loss. It's left you with a lot of deep, deep thinking. So I get that. Um, but there has been completion and the Queen of Pentacles, again, when you see that, how do I find work and life balance? Maybe this is the key to the question that's happening with some of you watching. There's been a change, could be kids, grandkids, new life something significant that left you having to dig deep into your emotions and make these decisions, but it's positive. At the very least, you have options, options, options. Let's see what else comes out. Please stick with me. Give me a like just for hanging out. <laughs> and... I will also timestamp this. That'll be in the description. Click the title, you'll see that information. Then you click it, helps you navigate. It helps you navigate the situation. Um, and forgive me, I'm looking at the card. So more representation. Yes, the difficulties, but sevens all over the board, dreams and discovery, a lot of water energy here, but again, more fire energy. A 
wands also are very spiritual and represent the life choices that we're talking about. It, it all, they also represent creativity. Yeah, you could, there could be overwhelmingly feeling stuck about some things. Um, six of swords, swords are an uh, air energy six. Finding happiness, it represents a little bit more air and water energy, but it does speak to simply right here, the forward motion that I've been speaking to. I, I feel a sense of protection needed or coming in also. Doesn't necessarily go with that card, but that protection is what's going to make you happy. Um, and understand that you've reached a turning point when you see the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, it, it represents so much uh, good energy from an ending point of view with the 10 to the turning point in the Tarot journey, a turning point in your life and these choices that you're making and deep insight on how to balance work and life. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the Wheel of Fortune. It is simply fortuitous though, really. But life is everything we make it. It also represents a fire energy that is Sagittarius and the power of optimism. So now we have passion, healing, strength, optimism represented. It also represents fate. It is a major arcana card, much like judgment. <clears throat> it is the circle of life, my friend. Get ready for good luck ahead. When you see this card, it is a destiny fortune, luck, growth, more growth, more, 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 more growth, opportunities, good luck ahead. And lastly, overall, this four of wands also came out. Very joyous, four, harmony, peace, stability, Sometimes people call it the marriage card. I just see it as just a balanced start. Fours can sometimes represent being stuck, but clearly this is not. This is, I feel, for my collective community watching, this is where you are in a more balanced place ready to accept the cycle of life, the journey, the next uh, faded, joyous opportunity. All right. So hang in there a few more minutes. Remember, I do have timestamps to help you effectively navigate the reading in case you don't have time to so just chat 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 so please comment and like share i hope you see the evolution here we have a lot of completions new beginnings definitely gave it some thought so that is a good thing to do right all right, let's pull just a few to validate with Lightseer's Tarot. So I think you'll see, ah, Seven of Pentacles, Dreams, again, Sevens. See here, Seven of Pentacles, look at the new growth. You can see him working it. Dreams and Discovery. Pentacles, wealth, 
the wealth in any idea, person, project, relationship. A lot of growth, though. Definitely speaking to growth, dreams, discovery, nourishing, healing, protecting. Makes sense, right? Seven, 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 seven. Lots of good cards. Set of pentacles are time. Seven days, seven weeks, seven months. In this case, I wouldn't go beyond seven months. Wow. Okay, collective community. Now you have the world. All right. The final card in your journey. As you can see, She's balanced on one foot, enlightened, divinely guided, divinely balanced, ready to accept a world of opportunities. Um, just a very joyous person. Again, look at this world of opportunity here intellectual queen the celebratory nature the wheel and the world a turning point a completion new beginning this is a collective general reading for you guys if you would like to comment about exactly what you need I can be more specific but I can get, also give you more details. Sometimes this represents that 10th house of careers. It also represents earth energy and Capricorn hardworking, power of steadiness. It also represents enlightenment, which you can clearly see. Freedom, possibilities, celebration, fulfillment carried with responsibility when you see this it's get ready for some spiritual understanding beautiful good luck ahead and spiritual understanding that is what tarot is telling you today so we have first messages from the runes second traditional tarot and now these two that came out from Lightseer's Tarot clearly represent what we're talking about. So for my collective community, those who you do resonate with this, I hope you find it helpful. Some of you may not come back for more messages. Uh, and stick with me, you guys, as I do continue. I would like to share some of the oracle healing wisdom that I can offer today. So we will go with the crystal wisdom oracle deck. I'm just going to ask for one for our collective community right now. These cards come with uh, self insight and understanding and healing messages. So one is good to help solidify our reading, our thoughts for this reading, for this moment, and the energy and the support we share. Here we go. And how to move forward in a very positive way. So this is the quantum quattro as you see i hope sorry about the glare it is beautiful quantum quattro Whoop. I dropped it and set that right here all right let's discuss some of the healing insight that comes with this Quantum Quattro is synergy. Okay, let me show this to you again. This has amazing healing power. 
All right, guys, we got the healing message again. And a dramatic effect on physical vitality. It brings about an energetic shift and in integration. So here's some things you can take with this. Karmic aspects need healing. Your question is nowhere near as straightforward as it seems. So dig deep and see all sides. The power of the whole is much greater than its component parts. Once you have all the information, you are invincible and evolve rapidly. Also, some healing insight with the quantum quattro, if you can have it around you in your hand, if it relates to you, it is a beautiful, beautiful stone. Recognizing that you cannot heal any, anyone else or influence their behavior enhances your own well-being. So possibly that relates to some of you. In general, it's a beautiful message. You have the world at your feet and quantum quattro bringing synergy into your life. Now we're going to have a chakra healing oracle card. Just one, please. Too many. Too many. I don't know what to do. There's too many. There's too many. Okay. Work with me. Stick with me, guys. <sighs> a lot of it. A lot of message coming. A lot of messages coming through. There we go. A lot of energy coming through. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. It really makes my day. I find so much passion in this. It's my passion project. So I want to leave you with the story, the fable created by Tori Hartman for Chakra Healing. This is called Expansion. I want you to understand the blue is your throat chakra of communication. So let's dive into what is discussed here with expansion. Remember, these are healing messages that you can take with you anytime. Anytime. Communication is key to many things. Now, expansion, the story is called Sky God, and it's about your life changing as you move away from the old way of relating to others. New people are entering your life. Relationships may no longer work. You need to reach out to those who are in the same vibrational frequency of personal upliftment. Call upon higher companions to advise you at this time. Now, I'd like to leave you with this Sky God message and a meditation, some key words too. How can I create powerful alliances? Are new people entering my life? Key ideas in all of this change, healing, growth and new beginnings that we're speaking of is you may be or need wise counsel there is fruitful collaboration fruitful also relates to fertility so you can think of fertility and fruitful as interchangeable spiritual support we did discuss some big changes life choices so you you're seeking or may need spiritual support prayer power of prayer is intense also key ideas state of uncertainty and being guided keep your faith there are connections here for you to make and a guided meditation message that i'd like to leave you with today is imagine something that you believe that you did believe to be possible for you to achieve. Maybe your dream job, 
money, a divine relationship. Can you imagine it? Say to yourself, repeat out loud, I know this is possible. I know this is possible. Say this phrase until you believe it. When you are ready, let go. Let it go. If you know your desire can be, it already is. So, here's the card to think and meditate on. Say the phrase until you believe it. I know this is possible. And if you know your desire can be, it already is. I hope this has been helpful, my collective community friends. I find it inspirational and I find you inspirational. And I am grateful, as I've said, just give me a like and thank you for watching all of it. Come watch it some more. I will include the timestamps that I mentioned and also a blog link because I love to write about astrology. And if you have any questions about the cards I use, runes, layouts, oracle healing, guided meditation, or astrology, please comment. We can connect that way as well. I, I want to remind you also, I haven't said it in a while, but it means a lot to me. It's something I came up with. Where there is truth, there is love. And where there is love, there is truth. I hope you take that with you today with a lot of optimism and faith in yourself and the situation. Peace. Mm -hmm.